What's up men 17 fans? My name is Cody and in today's video I'm going to share with you the best way to run the ball in Madden NFL 17. Real quick though before I get into the video what I want to ask is a favor. If you're going to get better in Madden 17 it's through one thing and one thing only. It's through asking better questions because with better questions comes better answers. So do me a favor and leave your questions in the comment section. That way we can dialogue there and it might lead to me making a future video specifically around answering your question. Anyways, today's running play comes from the iForm Pro Twins and we're in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. The reason is because the run audible down is the halfback power O and I think that's a really good way to go. What I do, what I like to do with this three-headed rushing attack is come out in the strong close in the halfback quick toss. Now the reason is because from there I can access the strong close Steelers halfback weak, the iPro Twins Power O, the iForm Pro ISO, and even the single back bunch base quick pitch. Now it gives me a run for every possible scenario. Okay, and the reason that that's important is because you're not always gonna, running the running game is not a one size fits all type of deal. This running game is very importantly and very emphatically about picking the right lanes to run through, okay? So against this, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna run the power O against some random defenses and give you an insight into why I would pick what I would pick. So in this situation, you would pick the power O. Why? Because the guards are gonna block down, you're gonna be able to pull that guard on the left side and you're going to be having clean running rain, running lanes. It's all about getting through into the next level. So against this situation would be another good place to run the power O. The power O in my opinion is going to be called probably 70% of the time. It's very, very effective against several different types of defenses. The ones that it's not effective against is stuff like this where everybody's crowding the line of scrimmage. Then you might consider hitting a quick pitch to the outside and getting to the edge. What, uh, this is actually a perfect example of a situation where I would want to call the single back bunch quick pitch because it's really here just all about getting me to the perimeter and allowing the speed of Ezekiel Elliott to really help you get outside. Okay, and A good run is about four yards of carry. Against this defense, again, you're wanting to go to the power O. Um, and the reasoning is because that guy over the nose is going to hold that down. So we're just going to run through here and follow the pulling guard to daylight. The key to the power O is understanding when you're beat. Uh, and I don't think people really quite comprehend why that's such an important piece. Let me show you the ISO here uh, real quick. The ISO is just a quick hammer run. Now the problem with this run is in this year's game, it's very difficult to run it because it's so difficult to get straight holes and straight lanes up the middle of the field. The better runs this year are the power O or the quick toss. Okay, here's a zone weak run that I wanted to show you. You can actually run this. Um, what you need to do is you can, but the problem is you can only run it to the left side. So that creates a nice little um, problem for you to have to deal with, unfortunately. And I would just honestly use the off tackle. Let me show you uh, another ISO run here. So it would look like we would be able to really cleanly run this run, uh, but as you can see, it gets kind of muddy for whatever reason. The ISO, in my opinion, is the worst of, is the lesser of the three to four runs that I have here uh, at my disposal. Another thing that's important for you guys is to remember to, number one, don't hold speed burst when you're coming through the lane. And number two, to realize that you can flip the run by playmaking it with the right stick. That's one of the most underutilized tips that's so imperative because now I can be running the ball to the left side and it changes it completely up what the defense has to do. And it forces the defense to get into what I call a balanced run stopping defense. Here, they're spreading out wide to kind of set up for the power O. So what I'm gonna do is hit them with the ISO run, but I'm gonna playmaker it to the left side because I know that I have better blocking advantage on that side of the field. The ISO again, it's just a quick little run. Here's the quick toss. Um, not quite a great look to run that, but just wanted to show that as well. Um, with the quick toss, one thing to also consider though is you can't playmaker it, so that does inhibit it just a smidge. But what you can do is you can go to the single back bunch ace, playmaker to the left side, 
And what I like to do is motion the tight end out here, and it literally causes a whole nother slew of problems that the defense has to address, especially if you have a back that has any level of quickness. Now, the biggest key to a running back, running game, again, what I want to reiterate is picking the right running play. You have to pick the right running play for the right situation. That's really what it comes down to. But in my opinion, if I had to gamble and I only had one running play to go, I would call the halfback power O. In my opinion, power O is pound for pound the best run because you can run it inside, you can run it outside. It all depends on the blocking scheme. So what I want to do real quick is share with you a couple of a couple of situations. So what you want to do is you want to read your tight end. If your tight end pushes his blocker outside, then you know to run inside. If he pushes him inside, then you know to run outside. So you just want to read the tight end here. Here he lets him go, slices and blockets, and uh, and we slide into the inside right behind it. And you see it's a quick, really quick transition. I mean, it might seem like a lot of audibling, but it really is a very quick, seamless transition. Here he pushes his man down. That mean, lets me know that I need to get to the edge and I get to the corner and go for a long, uh, a long gain there. So that's kind of what I wanted to share with you guys today is simply the power O. I really wanted to put it on your radar because I've been using I've been using it and it really has transformed my running game. Also, real quick, if you have one power O to run, I would recommend the strong tight pair power O. And the reason is because you get two tight ends on there and it's very, very difficult for them to over pursue and stop it. Okay, so that's just one little tip, strong tight pair power O. However, the iPhone Pro Twins, what I like about it is its flexibility. Because with a strong tight power O, you can't really have success running it to the left. With the strong twins though, you're still kind of balanced, especially if you sub a tight end in at receivers. So those are the two runs that I suggest. And I believe that the halfback power O, especially in combination with something like the strong close quick toss, is pound for pound the best run in Madden NFL 17. So I wanna leave you guys with one thing real quick before we go. The key is asking questions. The better questions you ask, the better answers you will receive. So do me a favor and ask me the questions that you guys have for Madden 17 in the comments below so that I can answer those questions. We get into dialogue and hopefully it will make this channel more useful to you in the big picture. Thank you so much for your time and we will see you guys tomorrow.